guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video we'll be seeing some of the cellular concepts which are used in the wireless technology in mobile communication so uh, we'll be seeing each of the cellular concepts in detail and so we have the very first concept that is we have the frequency reuse technique so uh, you all might be using this uh, frequency uh, reuse technique but you may not know in depth but uh, with this explanation you will be clear of how the frequency reuse technique works so uh, basically from the name we start with the bifurcation using the frequency again and again means you have to reuse like uh, you uh, might be having a pen uh, you will be writing something and then the refill gets over and then what you do you just uh, buy another refill and then you can use within the same pen and can uh, do your activity so similar kind of thing is there so here instead of a pen you can assume as a cell so in that cell you have different frequencies and different channels so uh, that channels you can just eliminate or add few more channels and then you can do your activity so uh, let's see in detail how this frequency technique works so basically uh, why we use this technique or why we adopt this frequency reuse technique in mobile communication is because it saves a lot of bandwidth your data which you use uh, because if we don't use this frequency reuse technique then every time you will have to allocate that much band as and when it's required so uh, the data uh, loss uh, would happen to a great extent and your megabytes or your data pack which you call in your uh, mobile while you do uh, the internet surfing for the 4g 3g and all these stuffs so uh, for that the data transfer uh, rate uh, would get uh, depleted soon and so for that we mainly use this frequency reuse technique because it saves the uh, bandwidth a lot uh, next in this you have a concept of uh, base station so base station in detail we'll be seeing in the gsm architecture so uh, for the time being uh, you just need to know that each of the base station base station is used for communication of uh, a mobile to mobile uh, it sits between or it facilitates the communication between two mobile devices like uh, if I suppose I call to you people then uh, there may be a base station kept in my area as well as in your area so it facilitates the communication between me and you people so uh, each base station is allocated a set of channels means base station will have a set of different different channels so channels for one cell are different from the channels of the neighboring cell so that you can see from this uh, diagram so in this we have considered uh, cells from 1 to 7 so we have uh, 1 to 7 numberings here in this small uh, you can see this honeycomb structure so uh, you can see uh, different different cells has got base stations and so every cell has uh, its own base station so everywhere you can see this antenna so these are nothing but the base stations on that uh, cell so base stations uh, actually they provide the functionality of coverage and better performance by a minimum number of radio channels so uh, it is nothing but you can uh, assume this is a geographical area on the map uh, so um, that in that place uh, like you have uh, many many uh, cities and different roads uh, and different uh, remote hilly areas as well as forest and all so uh, if suppose you are living in a vicinity and uh, that may be uh, more close to a hilly area or a hilly region and uh, some friend of you might be calling from some other place and so uh, this might be quite often that uh, you might not hear uh, that person or the voice is not proper and so uh, you will tell them that please uh, could you speak more loudly and uh, something like that so uh, that uh, issue is basically here so uh, basically what happens is that you need to have or you need to check whether the radio coverage for that uh, particular cellular carrier which you are carrying so uh, whether it's a Airtel or BSNL or some other Vodafone, AT&T so for that whether that cellular coverage is uh, there or not you just need to check for that so that is basically the radio coverage for that particular area or the region so here uh, you can see uh, there is a cell so cell has a radio coverage so that concept you can apply here so the same works over there but uh, now you got a better understanding of why this uh, issue happens like if you are in your home country with a particular cellular network but if you go to some other place you might not get that uh, provision of that cellular uh, provider because of this radio coverage is not there in that particular area 
Uh, so, uh, it's basically a design process and there is an assignment and reuse of radio channels and this technique is essentially called as the frequency reuse technique. So, uh, you need to know the radio coverage of that particular area, means what area or how much portion of that area actually takes the uh, radio. Uh, region or the extendability of that uh, radio coverage is there you need to estimate that factor basically so uh, you have this uh, figure so in this you have seven different channels and uh, for each channel you have each base stations and you need to communicate so uh, every channel like for example uh, you see this channel 7 is different so uh, neighboring channels you cannot see any sevens associated with it so you have three five four six one two and you can see seven somewhere here somewhere here so this is because and each cell is uh, different from each other so this is because uh, there should not be any interference or jamming or any kind of other uh, interference or diffraction due to the signal so uh, it's because of that this is designed in such a way so uh, the same figure, uh, the figures with or the cells with the same numbers have the same channel or frequency means uh, the channel or the frequencies of this 7 is same as this one is same as this one or the channel frequency of 6 is same as this one as well as this one. So it's uh, applicable for all the cells with same number and you can see some kind of honeycomb structure there. So this is basically hexagonal cells. And so this hexagonal cell shape is universally accepted and it represents a radio coverage for that particular geographical area. So uh, this is the basic uh, idea of how this uh, cellular area looks like. So uh, you have the radio coverage for a particular cell. Like I have said for a particular cell you have base stations as well as you have the radio coverage. And so that is termed as a footprint. Uh, so uh, let's see some mathematical equations in this. So basically uh, what we have, uh, we have the cellular area and we have the cells from 1 to 7 and so we have a cluster size of the cell as n is equal to 7. Uh, then there is a frequency reuse factor which is given by 1 by 7 and so it's a, a factor, it's a ratio, you don't have any unit for that and so it's 1 by 7. And uh, this comes from here that every cell has 1 by n channels upon the total number of channels which are available. So uh, let's uh, draw some equations or let's calculate the cellular capacity of that particular uh, area. So uh, let's consider S as the number of duplex channels which are there for use. So duplex is uh, for point to point communication uh, from both the ends. Means uh, both of the parties can involve in uh, transmission as well as the reception of the signals. Then we have the C that is the measure capacity means how much capacity it can hold or how much uh, communication uh, channel it can allocate. So that is given by C is equal to K into MN. So K is a constant you need to replace that. Let's see what is K. K is set of channels which are assigned for each cell and K is less than S that is the number of duplex channels for use. Uh, now uh, you have M that is the number of times n is replicated so n is nothing but the cluster size of the cell so uh, we form this equation that is c is equal to k into mn then suppose for example let's say in an ideal case if this s is equally distributed among all the cells which are there then we have the total number of channels available so that is given by this s that is the number of duplex channels for use is equal to k into n so this is the equation given uh, upon this condition and so we will substitute the value of k for this in this and so what we have uh, we equate that k is equal to s by n and so what will we do we just put into this so we have that is k s by n we have m into n so n n gets cancelled and so we have c is equal to m s so this is a cellular capacity of that particular area or a region. So uh, well this is how the uh, frequency reuse technique works in mobile communication. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated by watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.